Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. The discoveries being made in Antarctica that are being kept out of the news are going to change the political and social landscape of the entire planet in the next 20 years. Every major world power is looking to get in down there. And the Chinese are way ahead of everyone. It's not going to be a matter of if we militarize it, but when. We have looked at structures using Google Earth Pro that defy explanation. But I've found three more. And these three, one of the, when I first saw them, reminded me of what you find in the Atacama Desert in Peru. Now, for those of you who are unaware or didn't watch History Channel during the 2000s, there are these glyphs, these pictures that are scrawled out into the floor of the desert in the Atacama that really you can only appreciate from high, high above. And they are thousands of years old, when allegedly there was nobody flying around that could have directed the construction of them on the ground or had any ability to really see them. This one is the most popular one. It's uh, called the Atacama Giant. I don't know if you can see it right here in the middle. But this is what it looks like from the ground. And up here at the top, let's see if I can move the camera up. It'll give you an idea of how big it is in relation to a person. There's also kind of hard to see. There's a person standing right down here, uh, lower center left. The shapes of them are strange, too. Very, very strange. This doesn't look like a human head at all. And we've seen them make images that are round. The eyeballs are round. Why wouldn't they made a head round? What is this square thing with four rectangles on top of it. And why are the arms literally not important? The feet are like landing platforms. 
It's very, very strange. But without any further delay, I want to share this with you guys and just keep an open mind on this. Because when you see it, after you see it, you can't unsee it. Now we're going to start down here. I was just searching randomly, and of course there are different layers, different levels. That looks like somebody created or stacked up a mound that, in certain light, would be an arrow pointing a certain direction. There is, in South America, a pyramid that was built that on the equinox, and only on the equinox, as the sun goes down, it looks like a snake is either going up one side of the pyramid or down one side of the pyramid, depending on when it is. It's the, it's the solstice and the, uh, the equinox. It's one of those two. Point being is they had the ability to create things that only could be appreciated at certain times in certain shadow. Now, I had to ask myself when I saw this, what would this be pointing at? So, I'm like, well, let's go look up in that direction. And lo and behold, I found something. Now, once again, at a certain time, with the sun in a certain place, you see what very clearly looks like the outline of a face. Right here. And that face is looking at something. Now, what that could be, that's still something I'm looking for. Right here close to it, it looks like something is melting the ice from underneath. Maybe this is some type of a crashed ship. I don't know if this is some type of a uh, a warning or some type of an SOS. But also, if you look farther, in the same general direction that face is looking, I found at the base of this mountain something I really can't describe. It looks artificial. It looks very, very artificial, and it looks like an entrance into some type of a cave, or this is some type of a settlement. Now, all this could be thousands of years old. We know that Antarctica... Things down here just don't age. The weather and the climate protects them. The shadow of whatever this is, right here in the center, is very distinct and not natural. Because when you look at natural shadows in the region, you can see things that just aren't so, so perfect. And this, when you look back at it, and you look underneath here, you see how this is darker than the other surrounding snow? It looks like there is some type of a heat source or something going on under the ice right here. Some type of perhaps they found a way to, if they had crashed their ship back at the other site, to get here. And... They found a way to adapt. And I just want to do a quick measurement on this, just so everyone can have a scale. Three hundred and fifty meters this way. And we'll just ballpark about 140 meters wide. So a fairly large settlement. Nonetheless. But very odd. I've looked all over North America, Asia, Africa, 
and I have not found anything remotely even like the structures and images that I have found in Antarctica. Not even close. Just a real quick ballpark on this ship, just to say we did it, if it is a ship. One second. Okay, here we go. Roughly 189 meters across, and it's roughly circular, so we'll just use that as the size. And the arrow that pointed towards all of this let's see how big that is about 487 meters definitely big enough to be seen from high high above and you can't miss it. I mean, you just can't miss it. It's it's just too perfect. Everything else is completely covered with snow. They've stacked this up, whatever this is. And you can almost see right along the side of it a trail, which would have been necessary to build something this big, to be seen from space. And to angle it in such a way, and to create it in such a way, that... It casts this kind of a shadow so that you would see it, depending on, I guess, the angle of approach. That's all I can assume is that they would have been able to calculate if they were, if they came here from another planet or if they came here um, even from another continent, let's say, that they would have had the ability to judge, okay, if they're going to come looking for us, they're going to be coming from this direction at this time, and what can we do to maximize their ability to see where we might go if they're here you know there's a lot of unanswered questions but I do know that something like that just doesn't occur out of nowhere and I would defy anyone who wants to take issue with it please find me another one find me one in North America find me one in South America find me one in Asia things like we have uncovered since last Gosh, it's almost a year now. I think it was August, late August of last year when we started looking at Antarctica. So yeah, we're getting pretty close. But it's really not going to be very long before they can't hide it anymore. What they have found down there, that has completely changed the face of our military, completely changed the face of pretty much every military on the planet. They can't get down there fast enough. This is an article from Common Dreams from July 31st, 2019. And we will leave that there. Like, share, subscribe. Hot time. 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone 
who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much.